Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we, are, we generally discuss about public cloud design problem statement and their related solution. Today, we are going to discuss about Azure Front Door. So, today's problem statement, how to distribute traffic across the region and which load balancer to be used for high availability of an enterprise grade application in case of a significant geographical failover, failure scenario. To realize this, we have Microsoft Azure Traffic Manager and Azure Front Door, AWS has Amazon Route 53, Google Cloud has Google Cloud DNS service. Now, what is load balancing? Let, let us try to understand. If you are hosting an application which is get, getting hosted inside a server and you are trying to access it, it is working fine. Now let you are increasing number of users for that particular server and the number of users are accessing this application simultaneously. In that case, there are chances the application, the server will not perform accordingly. It, the performance will be affected or the servers may crash based on the uses of the server and number of users. In that case, what you can do, you can distribute the application across multiple server. Now, as you are distributing the application across multiple server, then the traffic also should be distributed across the server. That's where the load balancer is coming to picture. Via the help of load balancer, you can distribute the traffic across multiple server and that is the basic concept of load balancing. This means the process of distributing traffic in a distributed architecture across various compute, compute is known as load balancing. Now let's try to understand different load balancer which are available in Microsoft Azure. There are two types of load balancing service which is currently available. One is global load balancing service, another is regional load balancing service. When we are talking about global load balancing service, in case of multiple geographical region down, then also your traffic will be redirected to multiple other geographical region. That is known as global load balancing service. And to do that, we have uh, Azure Front Door and Traffic Manager. And in case of regional uh, load balancing service, when you want to distribute the traffic within the region, in that case, you can use a, your regional load balancing service, which is your application gateway and Azure load balancer. And then we want to decide when to use uh, uh, Azure front door and when to use traffic manager, application gateway and load balancer. To do that, what you have to do, if you are looking for a DNS based global routing and do not have requirements for transport layer security, protocol termination, uh, uh, TLS protocol termination, uh, termination, that is SSL offloading. In that case, you can use traffic manager. But when you want to achieve your web application firewall or SSL offloading or even the bot protection, DDoS protection, all these things you want to realize here along with the CDN capabilities, then you can think about front door. And within the region, you can use application gateway and also you can use uh, Azure load balancer. You, when you want to load balance between your server in a region at the application layer, in that case you can use application gateway and you want to do a network layer load load balancing, in that case you can use Azure load balancer. That is the basic behavior or uses of all these four uh, load balancing services. Now let's try to understand what is Azure uh, front door. It also helps you, it helps you on creating first, secure and widely scalable web application. It enables you transforming your global consumer and enterprise application into robust, high performing, uh, personalized modern applica applications with contents that reach a global audience through Azure. That means it is a global load balancing service. It distributes your tra traffic across the region based on different routing mechanism. It enables the capability to handle regional failover. In case of one region is going down, you want to redirect your traffic to another region. That also can be done by the Azure front door. Now, let's try to understand different routing mechanism. One is latency based routing mechanism where the, the backend which is near to your uh, front door, the traffic will be routed to there to increase your performance. That is known as latency based. Priority based when you have multiple backends, you are setting the priority to your different backends, then the backend which is having the highest priority will be routed first. Weighted routing, when you want to distribute the traffic based on the different weights that has been assigned to your backend, like 70% to backend 1 and 30% to backend 2, then also the traffic will be distributed according to the backend 1 and 2. Session affinity, when you are logging to a system and your session is tightly uh, is being attached to that particular server, in that case, the second request should also go to the same server. And that is where the session affinity is coming to picture and that is also currently supported by Azure front door. 
So these are all four routing mechanism which is currently supported by Azure front door. Now let's try to understand why do you need front door. So when, when you want to define, manage and monitor the global routing for your web traffic by optimize for top tier and user performance, in that case you can think about front door. When you want to realize path based routing based on the URL pattern, you want to route your traffic then also you can use front door. Cookie based session affinity as I said, when you are logging in and you want to uh, uh, redirect your traffic to the same session server, in that case also you can use it. SSL offloading and also custom domain redirecting HTTP to HTTPS traffic, then also you can think about CloudFront. And also the beautiful capabilities with content delivery network, that means you can uh, you can uh, enable the CDN capabilities by also enabling the WAP bot protection and built-in layer 3 layer for distributor denial of service that is DDoS protection also can be supported in your Azure front door. Also, it also route your traffic, your client request to the fastest and most available origin. That is, for these are all basic reason why do you need a front door. Now let's try to realize a regional failover scenario. Let's think about a scenario where you want to host your web application. It stores the data in your uh, MySQL database. And to realize this, you want to uh, you want to make a robust application or make your application more resilient where you want to distribute your traffic in case of one region is getting failed then also your uh, your application should always be live that means the traffic should be redirected to the second region in that case you can think about cloudfront and to realize this as you can see here you can as the request is coming from the internet here so cloudfront you can enable the warp ddos protection all the security related stuff that you can enable in your azure front door now, as we are using your a multi-tenant app service to reach a multi-tenant app service, which is an Azure public and Azure front door is a regional service to realize this, then also you need a private link endpoint. And how can you realize this uh, private link endpoint? When you enable a private link to your origin in Azure front door prem premium versions, that is only supported in the premium version, front door creates a private endpoints on your behalf from a regional network managed from the front door's regional private networks. That means it is completely the network where the PLE endpoint will be created that is completely managed by the front door capabilities. That, is, that means it is the regional private network of front door. And when you want to connect to the origin, that, in, that means your app service which is in your region, in that case a approval will be needed by the private link. And once you approve that particular request, your request which is getting generated from your front door, which has been already filtered out with WAV, the request will be completely in the Azure private backbone network. That means it will never go to the a public internet. So that's where you can secure your connectivity from your front door to your past services. Or if you have a virtual network which has been installed, then also you can enable the private link endpoint so that the traffic from your Azure front door to that particular private network will be much more secure. And as you can see here, from my app service, where the delegated subnet, it's a multi-tenant app service I'm using. That's why I'm using delegated subnet. If you are using app service environment, that is single tenant app service, then you can place it directly within your uh, virtual network. And here from the delegated subnet, I'm using my own private link endpoint. That is not uh, the private link which has been provided by uh, cloud uh, front door. Rather than it is my own private link endpoint, which is linked to my MySQL database, so that the entire traffic will be completely private. It will never go to the public network. And as as you want to uh, enable the synchronization of data, which is there in your MySQL database, you can activate your Geo application. In this way, your application will be completely in the high availability scenario. Your traffic will be always available or your application will be always available in case one region is getting failed. It can also go to the second region. This is an active, active scenario. There are two other scenarios also, also there. Active, passive, hot standby, active, passive, cold standby. When we are talking about active, passive, hot standby, that means your virtual machine related stuff will be always allocated in your passive region. And there you have to pay the money for that particular passive environment. Whereas active, passive, cold scenario, in that case, the virtual machine will not be allocated so that the passive will be always there, but the money will not be detected. So these are all three scenario, but here I have de depicted the active active scenario. And this is how a cloud front can realize your web application securely to your network. Uh, this is all about uh, cloud front. So if you want to know more about cloud front, please follow these links. You can get lot many information about cloud front and it is a new service and lot of features are in preview phase. 
so please check before you use it for your production environment it has uh, the sls values needs to be validated good luck with your learning if you like the video then don't forget to like subscribe and share our channel thank you